So here, Mahesh Kore G is an assistant professor of civil engineering at uh, the Pune Vidyarthi Grihas College of Engineering and Technology, Pune. Paya has been connected with the universal human value content from June 2021. And he is very active volunteer in the Western region. Uh, he is uh, holding the charge of this face-to-face -face workshop FTPs, the administration part of, part of that in the, as part of central team. And also he is handling this USB newsletter. So with this brief introduction, I welcome Bhaiya Mageshka Rebhaiya for his uh, sharing in the morning session. Over to you, Bhaiya. Yes. Ji, namaste. Thank you so much, Bhaiya. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, Sabiko. Uh, Sunil, Bhai, Sunil, uh, we already introduced me. Uh, I'll just add a few things into that. Basically, I'm civil engineer and in my master's, I went to Germany where I had few questions with myself and that asked me to return back to India. I return back and I tried to find the answers of those questions. But the UHV has given me that opportunity to reach to those answers. So I'm very thankful to the, to the UHV family. The content is with us and that has helped me. Now about myself. Uh, Basically, I am a civil engineering, uh, I can say, teacher, but I deal mostly first year students. So I had get opportunity to deal with the students and that helped me. About my family, uh, in my family, my wife, uh, she is a botany teacher. My son, Arnav, she is, uh, he, is, uh, he is in sixth standard. My daughter, Arohi, he is in I can say first standard right now. And my mother is a retired a teacher. I have two elder sisters. Uh, one is teacher, another is a, basically she's working in the industry. And uh, we stay, like my brother is in Indian army, we stay together, but he's posted somewhere in India, but we are still together. And that is what is I always feel kind of a, you know, kind of a things that is given from my family members that we can see our sanskar through the relationship. Now comes to the understanding of exercise one and two. What I would uh, say about exercise one, where, uh, where I always find the exercise, both exercise rather, first and second exercises. What I've got is I could see that now that whatever the imagination I have, that is what is my decision. And that is naturally acceptable to me or not. Most of the times I always felt that it is naturally acceptable to me. But when I come to the question, whether it is, I can say, keeping me at harmony or not, then I found that that how many question really questions my this decision whether it is naturally acceptable. When I say naturally acceptable, whether I have understood naturally acceptable means what? Most of the times that is dependent on my preconditioning. And I thought that my preconditionings are very correct. Whatever I assumed is very correct. And that is what is my understanding. And I found it is naturally acceptable to me. But I never thought what is mean by natural acceptable. And these morning sessions has given me that right thought because it helped me to be very mindful at every moment. Whenever you, I can say, interact with every other self. And suppose in any conditioning, when I interact with other conditions or other people, what is my thought process? Initially, I thought, suppose someone does anything rude or something good i feel good or bad but whenever i feel good or bad there is some thought process happen in my mind and that happens very naturally very sooner with the close observation what i found that never happens naturally basically those all thoughts are run by me only and those thoughts are basically are dependent on my i can say 
either sensation based or either preconditioning and never gone towards that direction like it is whether it's naturally acceptable or not or whether acceptable to me but when i thought whether it is taking me to the harmony or not then i found if it is not harmonious at in continuation then i must have to think over why i am thinking like this like for example i have taken few i can say kind of a testing things with myself only after first session i decided initially before like 2020 when i joined and uh, i i think i started morning sessions from 2022nd before that i used to go to the college like certain and all very i can say very as per the given the set of society very nicely then i decided let's take this one i decided to go very normal like without in i can say doing in shirt and going to the college wearing chappals or sandals also sometimes and that is like it's not a kind of a special kind of a dress aside and people do observe it and they started commenting sir you are you can say change your attire and this we never expected initially it was very very troublesome for me but like for last almost two and a half year i'm doing this thing and i what i found is that i'm very stable with any attire now it is not dependent on the other people what they i can say will i can say give the comment or not and again i had a question whether this i did only to express whether i'm a uhv person that was also question to me but uh, i can say last few days i got settled now it's not like that only to just express i'm a uhv person but i found that whatever i'm feeling comfortable whatever the decision i have taken i found myself at harmony that is very naturally acceptable to me and so i can go with that that i found is very i can say helpful for me also now i can see exercise one i could see all steps but exercise two the step one where i could see that my body and me both are realities those are in space but i can see that yet i am not yet settled down that connection between the space and these two realities the transaction i could see i could see that that is one basically i the one who decide and i can say take the messages from the body and i can say give the instructions as per that but at step 4 basically whenever i found that the sensation that is i can say taking place in my body there is a distance between that that i am not able to yet try to clarify on my own level but i yes i could see that i could read those sensations because whenever i go from a bus daily travel to the college i found some jerks are in the bus and that creates pain in my back and i take that but at some time uh, i can say i got late and uh, for the college and there is a something goes in my mind i have a lecture i have given my students time at 9 o'clock and due to the bus i am not able to reach on time so in that case whatever the things that about the students and the time given to the i can say students that all sensations that is due to the jerk i am not able to i can say take up and i never found that but once i reached the college when i start taking i can say classes i found that yes that was very troublesome that journey today and i could see that i had a jerks in the bus and now i'm feeling that i could see that but the distance between that i'm really yet working on it um other steps um i could see that um, yes definitely the sanskar based uh, i can say on assumption most of the times uh, like the family uh, i have like my mother uh, is very uh, i can say very person who praise the god 
daily and most of the times in daytime also like two times three times and she generally taught me brought me only all, all female members to do that like two times three times and initially after my graduation i try to oppose her and that has created trouble within my relationship also and i never thought he, she is doing with her whatever the assumption but what i expect whether i expect relationship or i want opposition but due to this what i could see that i always felt that she was wrong she is doing something with the myth she has to do three times two times but she is feeling i can say nice and i found that relationship with her which is naturally acceptable to me and now i could say her i can say mama i cannot do three times but one time i can do it and even i know that i don't i can say most of the times like that but now i do it daily for her so now i could see that the relationship with my mother as in my son also it is i can say quite changed like day before yesterday only you know that after the valley vacation the schools restarted and most of the semester examination papers were shown to the students the day one my son came to home and i asked him uh, how was the i can say first day after the valley vacation he asked me will you scold me or not i said why should i should scold you then he said to me that i have failed in languages like marathi that is local language here and hindi but i have i gave good good marks in other like science maths and other subjects so my wife and my mother was quite angry at him but i said okay you have failed but you, do you know reasons behind it rather i know that before the i can say result only because we had a discussion after the papers also but what i told to my mother and wife also look at his sincerity he could have told you that that yet the papers have not shown and he could have waited till the actual grade sheet could have come but if we believe that he is i can say i can say he is a good person he could speak very truth and definitely and that's why i found that he, he directly came to me and i can say give to me i can say all results to me not to i can say his mother or his grandmother that's why i feel that uh, this is very important to have the relationship and i can say the understanding of it which is necessarily acceptable to us and that's why i found these morning sessions are really helpful for me now about um program um basically i have been volunteering uh, to this uh, which we uh, family and all task programs but uh, most of the times i try to see that whether my feelings are stable or not initially i found it was not stable i am doing just kind of activity but now i found that it is quite stable i could work with i can say calmness i don't react now because what i was doing like my son once reacted to me that uh, papa sometimes you do two three meetings in a day so you do only uhv uhv in a day but you don't give time to me and then i found i can say this is his reaction because i could see that i am not able to give time to him then i try to manage my other activities on that day where i have more meetings and now i could feel that uh, he is also settled and i also never reacted to him rather we have always like a responding within each other and that's why i could see this program has worked out i could keep myself very calm and stable while interacting doing all the activities of uhv and other than the uhv also not only that that i found in my college also my students has given me the comment the the sir has been we found as per the seniors i can say reaction that he has been completely changed now he could 
to lay, be like a friend. So that is great achievement for me through this like activities about commitment. Um, yes, I'm working for uh, developing right understanding and feeling. Time I could, I can say, give time as per availability, but I could see that at least two hours daily I, I devote to UHV because that has definitely, I could see that helped me a lot uh, in overall development. Whatever the experiments I have done with myself and my family members, it has proved as on today very successful for me. Yes, at certain points, I found that yet I'm not settled down, but yes, I'm working on it. So this is what is from my side. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. This is from my side. Ji, Paya, thank you so much. Your commitment is commendable, I would say in one sentence. Um, and you have been working very hard as you have been presenting in this uh, sharing. Nice, Paya. Thank you so much. So uh, I request the course for us. If you have some questions to Mahesh Ji, uh, you can raise your hand and you can place your appreciation part in the chat box. Um, before uh, going to the questions of the course for us, I request uh, Shamla Didi to give her sharing, give her uh, remarks regarding uh, the, the sharing of uh, Mahesh Ji. Shamla Didi, over to you. Ji, namaste Mahesh Ji. Namaste, very, nice, very nice to hear your sharing. Um, Compared to earlier sharings, I feel in this one, you were able to express better um, some of the things that you have been exploring within you, or at least I was able to get more out of it. Um, in the earlier sharings, I always felt that uh, you somehow, um, you know, what came across from your sharing was very little compared to um, when we meet face to face and I can see, you know, how committed you are and how um, you have this feeling of relationship for many of your students and you're able to involve them in so many activities. Not just that you yourself are a committed uh, UHB volunteer and you do so much work outside but that you are able to relate to so many students and what you mentioned about your um, one of the students saying that you are like a friend i think that is the best compliment one can get from a student um and it sort of <clears throat> reinforces that when we work with a feeling of relationship then um the other things fall in line and it is a natural outcome, you know, the expression outside is a natural outcome of this. Like you mentioned the example with your son and how you can, you know, um, when you yourself have that feeling of relationship for the other, the other is able to come to you because they have that assurance that you will be like a friend. You are not going to judge. You are not going to shout. And therefore, that that again uh, reinforces that the outside stuff we can work on. But that will happen only when we work on the inside stuff also, uh, which, was, which came across with your sharing very nicely. Uh, for those of us who may not know Mahesh Ji, he is one of the very active volunteers. And like I said, he is able to connect to many, many students and um, sort of not only involve them, but the students look up to him and uh, are, um, you know, like he mentioned, they are like friends to him. So this is something very commendable. And it reflects on your own, um, you know, feeling inside. A couple of things that you mentioned about exercise two, regarding the, um, you know, being in space. Uh, if you will notice, uh, that has been changed because um, that although it is a conclusion, but um, 
in when we give the conclusions of exercise two, it uh, is uh, inappropriate to put it in the first step. So that has been changed. And you may have noticed the new slide that was put up. And also on the fourth step that you mentioned about the distance, the point of the exercise or that step four was to try to see ourselves as different from the body. So when we say distance, many of the participants of the morning session, just like you, were finding it difficult to see this, what we call distance, perhaps because we are looking at it in terms of physical distance. So that term was changed to being able to see that you are different from the body. Um, of course, space, you know, the, the step seven, being in space, that uh, will take time for most of us because that is a very far more subtle reality. And that's okay. I think the important thing is to be able to see that how it's making a difference as we go along. So it's not about getting to the end and then being happy, but being happy all along, along the journey right now, which is, I think, the crux and which you have been able to see. And uh, then, you know, and I'm working on it, and I'm sure with your kind of commitment, uh, you will do justice to both sides. And you very beautifully showed how uh, one can balance the inside and the outside part to work on yourself and at the same time work on the outside, work on your relationships. The fact that you could see that relationship is more important than the activity outside like with your son, you know, about the exam and all of that. We tend to take things very, very seriously. And if we look back, you know, how much difference would it make for one exam? Today, when you look back at your school days, I'm not saying the academics is not important, but when we relate to the child with relationship, they are, you know, um, we are, helping in their uh, right evaluation of themselves when we give them both sides, rather than when we, with hostility, with anger, we react. In fact, that will lower the self-esteem further and the communication, <laughs> sorry, the communication with the child may further drop. So um, I think uh, that is a lesson for everybody you know, with their relationships, if you can put the relationship as primary, that can make a lot of difference. So all the very best to you, Mahesh Ji. Thank you so much, Didi. Thank you, Didi, for the uh, comments regarding Mahesh Ji's sharing. Uh, very nice to listen from you. Uh, just uh, I would like to know from you that... Uh, a coexistence in the existence. That part is concerned, what are your takeaways? Just I would like to know from you. Yes. What I do understand, co is means like from engineering terms, if I take co means same. Like I exist with the coexistence means my existence and other existence is same and we are together. So I said my existence is not possible with a, without the other's existence. Like, for example, we know all four orders. So I need to have the relationship with the other against orders. And once I able to recognize that, that relationship, I could work with their fulfillment and that will definitely lead to my fulfillment. So I feel the, my existence is possible with the other's existence. So it is coexistence with the coexistence that I to understand and work with that relationship. I try to work in this field. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Bayer. Thank you very much. That's all, Bayer. Uh, one question from my side. Uh, I want to know that uh, this UG means this program, means this UHP program, really helpful for our students. If in engineering students, 
if you give some thought from these purposes, then it's very helpful for me. Yeah, Rakhi ji, is the question to Mahesh ji or Shamla Didi? No, uh, my sir. Mahesh ji, okay. Yes, Didi. Um, Didi, what I found uh, initially when I have only thought that I have learned UHV, but when it was, I can say, kind of a your regular behavior, they don't have to tell you whether you have learned UHV or not. They could understand the feelings. The, the transfer of feelings happens very naturally. And students could connect with you or the teacher very naturally. And that I found myself also. Earlier, I used to be a very strict teacher. But now, as in today, I found they connect me very naturally. They speak each and everything. Not only male students, but the female students also. All, I can say, girls also comes to me and they speak very naturally. And what I found that relationship, so I could direct them correctly to the right person. And if I'm able to handle the problem, I could do that. So I feel that it is very helpful to them, but it is rather more helpful to ourselves also, like myself also. Okay. Uh... Thank you for your suggestion. 